Hello guys and welcome back to SNS channel. Today I would like to show you the like my perfect room idea that I made in 3ds Max and I've been working on this for quite a quite a while now. So here is the first render I did and this is 360. So you can see how the room looks. Let me just change to motion. Okay, so right there is the, the main setup. It's it's just probably overkill. We have like three GPUs inside, we have two CPUs and four monitors, actually three monitors and TV. Uh, right here is the sofa and the glass table. Underneath us is like the aquarium, if you could call it like that. Uh, and then here is the huge TV that you can play games on or whatever. We have some kind of problems here. And also the this shadow, I don't know where it came from, but you can tell that this is done like uh, much earlier than the one that I'm going to show you next. So the ceiling, we have a big S. Uh, it really looks really looks nice. And right there is nice light. And now what I did, I actually extended this room to the to like two level room at this wall. So let me show you the render I did pretty much now. So this one. Okay, so now you're watching at that extended room. So there is the ceiling and everything I showed you. And this here is actually the bedroom. And then this, I can call it the restroom. So let's start from the top. You have the stairs. It looks really nice. I mean, even though this doesn't really hold anything, it just, it just, just like design style style. And then the ceiling here, you can tell it's extends from the, that one goes down here. And then we have this part here which also looks really interesting. It's like abstract art and it looks nice. I mean, you can't tell what is it, but it's nice. <laughs> so these are like the, the wooden planks that just goes around and there's the, uh, the light there. So simple, but looks fine. And then down here is a comfy bed. Um, you have some cabinets, glass, mirrors and stuff. Um, right here is supposed to be bedroom and up there is the entrance. Uh, so here's the wardrobe with the mirrors. I mean, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> then two lazy bags with this kind of soft, uh, fluffy feeling. Uh, again, huge TV to play games on or to watch movies or whatever. Fireplace, it looks just amazing. Uh, that render out pretty perfectly, like, looks great. Uh, I use Fumifix, by the way. Ceiling uh, window. I realized that I don't have too much light in here. Probably gonna put some more over there or some kind of decoration here. Uh, we'll see that. Uh, so thing that doesn't look nice is this outside view. Uh, this part here is kind of okay, but this one is just too horror exposed. So I don't know what the hell happened there, but I'm not the pro yet. So uh, this is actually the 5200 by 2800 resolution. So it's not like the full HD 360, but it, it's kind of, it's it's near, okay? And it looks great, so that's the <laughs> most important thing. Also, what I like down here is that we have this kind of fluffy carpet. It's really soft to touch, probably, I guess. <laughs> uh, we have the light underneath there, which also looks really cool. I mean, it's unneeded, but it looks cool. And that's pretty much it. I mean, not much of things here, but everything is kind of a put in quite quite good so I'm still missing here some I'm probably put, gonna put a table here with like wine or something some details on the shelves but yeah pretty much that's it alright guys so uh, comment down below how do you like this that's the first thing and then also uh, give me some feedback about this do you do you like this kind of 360 renders would you like me to do something else uh, I'm probably gonna work on this room for a bit more and I gotta post another one Maybe you want to see some tutorials, it's 3ds Max 2015 and the, everything was rendered with V-Ray. Maybe I can show you how to make this smooth render. As you can tell, the walls now look so much smoother. And I can make them even more smoother, but it will take a time, okay? You can see some noise over there, but that's just because of the the setup. I mean, it took about 5.5 uh, 5 .5 hours to render. So like if I would make it smoother, that would take about seven, eight maybe, and that's just too much for me to wait. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And see you in another episode. Bye.